parts of the South Pacific. Shut up! Listen! On two opposing islands. I know you can't stand my guts and I know you hate me. Our two rival tribes have shipwrecked castaways. It's so extreme, this whole thing is just proper extreme. These two islands are at war with each other. They're not enemies though. They are enemies. Stop <laughs> it! Oh my god, I can't watch! Every week a new castaway arrives. Each tribe has three days to win over the new arrival. Oh, that's cool, okay. At the end of the week, the new castaway must choose which tribe they will join. After five months, the island with the most inhabitants will walk away with £70,000. Shipwrecked, Battle of the Islands. Here in paradise, they'll do almost anything to win. It may look pretty, but it's not home, is it? Coming up. You might be a trainee barrister. Yeah. You might be 21. Yeah. You might have lived on your own for four years. Yeah. But I'm not your mother. I decided that I wanted to go home. Basically, I really like you. Oh, why did you have to tell me? My decision is... Last week, 23-year-old Alara G, the first of Shipwreck's new arrivals, spent three days being wooed by the Tigers, and three days on Shark Island, where the Sharks pulled out all the stops to try and impress her. I've just got a love letter. And there was love in the air in paradise. I think Crawford does like Katie, definitely. At last week's beach party, Leeds lass Alara chose which island she wanted to live on. Tiger Island. <laughs> making it six tigers to the sharks five. With Alara now a fully fledged tiger, it's time to welcome the second new castaway, 23 year old Kevin Bratherton. A part time model from Manchester, he's highly competitive and a self confessed ladies man. If a snog, you know, a little fiddle might come along then yeah, I don't mind that, that's cool. Kevin will spend his first three days living with the sharks and then three days with the Tigers, before choosing which island he'd prefer to live on at this week's beach party. I'm out here to win, because I'm, I'm a sore loser, and I want to win at the end of the day. It's new arrival Kevin's first morning in paradise, and the first of his three days on Shark Island. So the Sharks treat him to a traditional shipwreck breakfast, cold rice pudding. Mmm, bitty. You've got to eat. If it was poo <laughs> You're a nasty pasta. But it's not just the food that Kevin's gonna have to get used to. Holy crap! Did you see that scorpion? Look at that! See, this is what we have to live with. John, are these scorpions poisonous? Where's the big one? From Wigan. Yeah. Where is it? Could it's be the scorpion! Go watch. No, Ready? stop annoying it. Leave it. It's probably not even poisonous. Hold that. It's not even poisonous. No. We don't touch it. Why not? All right, then, bright ideas. Go on, touch it and see what it does. <laughs> Jeff! <laughs> what? <laughs> it could be poisonous. Yeah, it could not be poisonous. Yeah, well, so you're going to take that chance and then you'll be in the... You'll be doing all that <laughs> on the floor. But it might not be. But it will be, though. There's no way to find out, isn't there? Oh, well. Crackers. Cracker Jeff. What are you doing? <laughs> 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 oh, he does my oh, Great. Yeah. <laughs> put it in my put it in my pillow. That's it. Have you killed it? Probably. You're <laughs> schneid. I told you to leave it alone. I can't believe you're not scared of a little scorpion. Oh, like, oh, right, no. yeah. No, the best bit is. You, you can't believe you're scared. Just because you like think that it's, it's not gonna sting you and it's not poisonous. It is poisonous, but I hope it won't kill me. I'll say if I do something, I'll do it. <laughs> what if it has stung you then? Then we find out if it's deadly or not. Yeah, but then that's it, you'd have been gone off the island. Jeff's definitely unique. He's got the balls to touch a scorpion, which is good. 
but I'll leave that to him. Not me, mate. If it stings you, the, yeah, it is deadly. Oh, no, it's not. So if you know it's not, then you don't need to worry about them. You just kick them or flip them or whatever. Yeah, but you can kick them or flick them anyway, but with a big flip-flop on. <laughs> ah! And then that's it. Scrum. This is a scorpion, isn't it? <laughs> On the other island, the tigers are enjoying a well-earned day off from building. And in true schoolgirl style, 18-year-old Katie is on hand to provide her fellow islanders with a barrel of laughs. I'm never going to get out, am I? Oh, Katie's absolutely hilarious. I haven't met anybody like Katie before. Ow! We're like... <laughs> Guys, talk shout, me. Shout when it really hurts, yeah. Shout when it really hurts. <laughs> talk me through how I'll get out if I go away. Like we'll, we'll pull you out, it's easy. How? Stab it through no, the No, 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 it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get the saw out, you'll be right. You'll be fine. <laughs> Who's Katie. Out was this? I think Katie surprised me so much. She's like proper fun to be around. And um, she also like works really hard when she wants to. And um, she definitely keeps things interesting. I just like her, I don't really... Jamie is just one of those things. <laughs> I don't think rolling is... Please, I don't please, think we should please, roll her. Please, I don't please, think we should roll her. Please, let me oh, roll her. Sod you, then, please. if you want to roll. <laughs> oh, my gosh, are you sitting on me? I'm not going to mention it yet. OK. Um, are you ready, Katie? No, can you please... No, tell me what you're doing. Charlie! 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 Charlie, why are you... Why? <laughs> 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 do you want to get out? No, I love it! Now, Charlie, do you want to go? No, we're going to let him... No, rolling was so much fun! It smells funky in there. I know, it smells great. Is that you? <laughs> OK, she's disgusting because she refuses to wash. She doesn't really refuse to wash, but she is horrendously dirty 90% of the time. She's filthy, you know, she's just got dirt all over her face, you know, dirt all over her legs and her arms, and she doesn't, she doesn't give a hoot. I'm quite smelly. She's disgusting. <laughs> like a butterfly emerging from its chrysalis. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a hermit crab. Oh, I feel so sorry for hermit crabs. They are so talented. <laughs> oh, oh my beautiful. god. That was the oh, best one I've had all day. Should we do it in the sea? No. Coming up, the two tribes go head to head in a race for food. We're getting oh, overtaken! Jeff's pride is on the rocks. I feel more I've let myself down than anyone else. And island life gets too much for 18-year-old Tiger Badu. I really do think that I want to go home. Last week, a pontoon was placed between both islands, and at some point this week, luxuries will be dropped on it. At the sound of a siren, both islands will have to swim as fast as they can to retrieve the goodies. The quickest person to the pontoon will receive the treats, leaving the others with nothing. Since its arrival, both Shark John and Tiger Crawford have been closely monitoring it in the hope of getting a head start on the opposition. We're basically on pontoon watch because we think the pontoon drop might happen today and if they do drop a load of booty, we want to be there first to collect it. We go up from Amber to Red Alert. I'm doing pontoon watch, I'm trying to get focused to do like quite a difficult task. Just focus, completely focused, ready at any minute that if there's any any sign that it was going to be there, I'd be up in the water going for it. 